our kitchen sink. He ignites a cigarette. With the shower on and the lights off, oh, the ways we learn how to disappear, or remain undetected, or be invisible, even to ourselves. He is perched on the windowsill, less like a bird, more like a bag of books threatening to thud to the ground. I can almost hear the sound as I do dishes, mindlessly. Scrub my own hands instead of cutlery, and all the knives are words today. My lips dissect our conversation, it tastes like an undercooked meal. We never find enough time to talk. And my best friend, which is to say my favourite plate, or the sound a kettle makes when it is ready, he has scrubbed himself so clean lately, you can't even see his smile. When I was a toddler, I was scared to pull the plug on the bath, assume some part of me would be sucked away with the water's tight grasp. When I do dishes, I feel the same. Only ever release the plug slightly, let it ease away gently, let the departure of water be a loss so slow, it doesn't feel like someone is leaving. This is how it feels to grieve someone who is still alive, to write obituaries down their spine, palms pleading, stay here with a shower on and the lights off, while water drains down the kitchen sink and your hands are too slippery to hold him. Thank you.